and the film we presented today is called Florence, Kansas. We finished it uh, last May of 2011. It's a 21 and a half minute documentary about the history, uh, the challenges, the struggles, and the dreams of one small Kansas town that we hope tells the story in a way of a lot of small rural American towns. I was with a men's group that I'm in and every year we go on a small trip and that year we went to the Flint Hills and we hung out in a bed and breakfast there. It's on a ranch. It's a big ranch house right near there. We were just walking around the town and there was something very captivating about the town. Uh, the buildings, these old stone buildings, uh, the brick streets, a uh, very charming image of what a town once was. Mm -hmm. And everything was there except the hustle and bustle, hmm. 4,000 people. Hmm. Now it's 500 people or 600 people. But something about it just sort of attracted me. And then I saw a grant offering from the Kansas Humanities Council to tell Kansan stories as part of the 150th centennial of, or celebration of 150 years of Kansas statehood. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I applied for the grant to tell this story and figured out a way of approaching it and got the grant and then I thought when I opened the letter saying I got the grant, great, I got the grant, uh-oh, now I have to make the film. This one was very challenging because the choice to not use a narrator meant that we had to figure out transitions within the material. We had to find natural segues, and that made the editing pretty tricky. One thing about this town, this town originally had the reputation of being a boisterous kind of town, rough and rowdy, uh, where, uh, where the, the wild and loose people were, which is probably not accurate, but they did have a big oil industry, so there were a lot of oil roustabouts and workers coming in and out. And they also had a lot of ranchers coming in and out from Chase County. A lot of cowboys would come in. Every Saturday night there was always a fist fight. Neighboring towns would describe Florence as a stubborn, independent, wild kind of place. You had to be very respectful. And, uh, but, I mean, they had to be taking the risk. They didn't know me. Right. They, they took it sort of on faith that I'd be okay. Mm -hmm. Once they, once that's one thing I think about the small towns. Once they think you're okay, you're in. You may not be in like you live there, but you'll be trusted, and people do want to. They want to tell their story. Mm -hmm.